rotation and revolution. Did you know that the Earth is always in motion? We don't see or feel it moving. That's because everything on Earth is moving with us. Think of riding in a car down a highway. Pretend you're sitting very still. You don't feel like you're moving. You don't seem to be moving, but you're moving at 50 miles per hour down the highway. Traveling on the Earth is like that. Let's look at the Earth's movement. First, the Earth is always moving around the Sun. The Sun is the center of the solar system. The Earth and all Chapter 5, verse 21 now. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5 and verse 21. Come on. Prove all things. What did the Bible just say? Prove all things. What did the Most High just say? Prove all things. Because you have, we have not proven that we stay on a spiritual uh, uh, planet, a ball of water floating around through space. We have not proved that thing. This thing was a new thing up under the sun. From the very beginning, we all knew that that thing was flat, man. But now we've been we've been told all of these other things. And what did the Bible tell us to do? Prove all things. So that's what I'm going to do. Come on. Oh, fast that which is good. That, that's what they got to say. Eat the meat, throw away the bones. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to throw away that garbage that don't make no sense, man. Come on. Read it one more time. Prove uh, the book of 1 Thessalonians. Right. Chapter 5 and verse 21. Bring that thing. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. That's right, because we have been told lies to by this society, man. First uh, Timothy chapter six, verse twenty. We've been told and instructed lies through 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 all of their programs. The book of First Timothy, chapter six and verse twenty. Come on, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Uh huh. This is Paul writing to brother Timothy. Avoiding profane and vain babblings uh -huh. and oppositions of science falsely so called. Read it one more time. O Timothy, uh -huh. keep that which is committed to thy trust. Commit to keep that. Keep these laws, statutes, and commandments and what's thus said the most high through these our forefathers, man, because these are pure facts, man. Come on. Avoiding profane and vain babblings. Oh, right, uh, 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 Avoid that stupidity talk, man, and stuff that end up that not meaning much of nothing, man, at the end of the day. They got your uh, blood pressure all high. And at the end of the day, man, if somebody was to walk up, man, and you was talking to an organ with a stupid people, it make you look stupid. So avoid them type of conversations with these ignorant Negroes out here, man. Come on. And oppositions of science falsely so-called. And the what? <clears throat> and oppositions of science falsely so-called. He just called your science fake, man. Uh, the science that we have been taught here, man, is fake, man. It is not the original science that we are supposed to uh, be learning. Uh, this, what, what we should be learning the law, statutes, and commandments. What our forefathers went through. That would teach you every way uh, 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 in and out of what we needed in thus the life we live in right now. We wouldn't need to have to go to the white man's knowledge, the white man's school to learn nothing to get PhD. We won't have to learn that if we learned this Bible in the correct manner to the what we supposed to. But we have been fooled. They have taken that element away from us. <laughs> So we would have to depend on them people for food, water, clothing, everything that's going on. We depend on another nation, man. We're supposed to get those things ourselves, man. But they done stripped that stuff from, from, from out of us, man. And we and, and for a long time now, we have been repeating the process, man. Uh, 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 my parents done produced and they parents done produced and they parents done produced. The same type of Negroes, man. We keep on coming out and we depending on them to do for us, man. What we supposed to do for ourselves, man. And that's what we supposed to do with what we, but presently, we are waking up and trying different things, man, that's going to get and reap us uh, uh, edification through our nation and, and eventually get us the kingdom. Um, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8 now. The book of Colossians Colo uh -huh. chapter 2 and verse 8. Come on. Beware lest any man spoil you. What did he just say? Beware. That's me. Be cautious, man. Lest any man spoil you. Oh, I mean, you mess around and get yourself destroyed. Come on. Through philosophy. Through what? Philosophy. Philosophies are not proven to be facts. Come on. And vain deceit. And vain deceit. Meaning more lies, man, because they will bring lies upon lies out, man, and ain't been able to prove nothing, man. Prove.
prove that this man has been out to outer space. Prove that thing. Please, somebody prove that thing. You cannot, man. You basing all your information off something that was told to you over TV, something they printed in the paper, but you can't prove that thing. First thing y'all need to do is understand a bunch of uh, uh, um, uh, what's going on, man. If, 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 when they landed on the moon, who was taping that thing? <laughs> when they touched down, who was taping that thing, man? This is the first that, uh, time the astronauts ever been to the moon and touched down. We have left. Who was taping that thing, man? They already had sent somebody there. Man, y'all need to understand. Dude, this is a, uh, 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 they need an Oscar. They need to be, <laughs> they need an Oscar for playing our people for so long now. But we presently are waking up, man, and all praise to the Most High now. Um, read, read it again. Start from the top of the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. Come on. Beware, lest any man spoil you uh -huh. through philosophy and vain deceit. Come on. After the tradition of men. After who? After the tradition of men. The traditions of men, and not what this Bible is saying, because you'll listen to any kind of philosophies that they come up with, and it ain't came from out this Bible. It came from who? After the tradition of men. Come on. After the rudiments of the world. After the who? After the rudiments of the world. Let's see, cool. Let's see what uh, Yahweh shall see. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 4. Come on. And Jesus answered and said unto them. What did the uh, uh, Yahweh shall say? Take heed. Take what? Take heed. That means be cautious. That no man deceive you. That no man deceive you. We have been deceived here in America, man. They have pushed their doctrine on us for far too long. Like I said at the beginning, this spiritual globe thing is no older than five, six hundred years old. Um, we've been deceived in that area. We've been deceived to believe that Earth spins on its axis. Its axis is a tilt. And they tell you that's what creates your um, seasonal change. Um, and it spins a thousand to fifteen hundred miles an hour around in this particular one in one spot. We we've been fooled to think that it rotates around the, the sun after spinning uh, fifteen hundred miles an hour at sixty six thousand miles an hour. Come on, man! This junk is philosophies, man. Tell them to prove that thing, man. They cannot, man. They show you all CGI images and y'all say, ooh. Ah, oh, y'all believe that garbage, man. I don't believe that bull crap, man. These folks ain't proving nothing, man. Then that the sun is 93 miles, or 93 million miles away. When I done looked out there and admit the sun, man, and I done seen the, the clouds uh, 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 behind the sun, man. How that happened if it was 93 miles away, man? That 93 million miles away, man. That ain't happen, man. They, they telling us lies, people. And it's time for us. And that the moon is roughly... All of these figures is roughly, don't pinpoint me to no exact number. Um, uh, uh, the moon is roughly 235,000 miles away from here, man. I, but I done seen the clouds behind and in front of the moon, the same thing. It's not what they telling us it is, people. We need to wake up out that thing. So we have been lied. Martin Baham and was born in the mid-1400s, um, uh, 1459, and he died in 1537. But in 1492 is when he uh, introduced this global thing to our people, man, and it's been going around ever since then. So we can see that from about 600 years or so now, give or take, you feel me? We've been um, around for, you know, we've been going through this global stuff is what I'm getting at, people. This, this is not something that our forefathers knew. They knew that the earth was flat, man. Why do they do this to get you to think that? Um, and and hit on the next one right here, um, the Big Bang Theory. When the last time you popped a firecracker and uh, you saw little suns and planets start to evolve by that thing? Come on, I'm waiting on you. We ain't finna wait no longer. That's garbage, man. It's not happening. The big up uh, from chaos that became a uh, order, a uh, uh, divine order, man. That's garbage, man. They ain't proving nothing. So today we're gonna go through these scriptures and talk about the topic again. It's flat Earth and its operations. Um, let's get the Psalms, chapter ninety-three, and verse one. The Book of Psalms, chapter ninety-three, and verse one. Come on. The Lord reigneth. He do what? The Lord reigneth. He's the undefeated champ, man. Buck what you talking about? He is clothed with majesty. He clothed with what? With majesty. Let's get a better understanding of what majesty is. Come on. The Lord is clothed with strength. That's what his majesty is. His strength. Come on. Wherewith he has girded himself. What he did? Wherewith he has girded himself. He has did what? He has girded himself. Come on. The world also established. Is it what? The world also established. Established. 
that it cannot be moved. Hold on, so the Bible say the earth does not move, but he done told you I, they turn if things upside down. It's going 1,500 miles and 66,000 uh, uh, miles an hour. Man, this man is baloney, man. We don't eat for swine. Throw that junk away. All of it. The Psalm chapter 96, verse 10 now. The book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 10. Come on. Say among the heathen uh -huh. that the Lord reigneth. They say amongst who? Say among the heathen. Come on. That the Lord reigneth. That the Lord does what? Reigneth. Come on. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. The world shall be what? The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. It shall not be moved. The scriptures keep saying the same thing. So how is it that we think that we traveling through space, uh, 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 like I say, 1,500 miles spinning around, and then 66,000 miles an hour around the sun? Check this out. I know all of y'all have been to the fair sometimes in your life, another man. It's a ride at the fair. I don't know that thing, but it be spinning. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Let that thing get up to about 60 miles an hour. It has it glued to the wall. Am I lying? Your face be like this, you be looking over at the brother hoping they don't throw up because it's going to hit you dead in your face, man. So if you're spending at less than 100 miles an hour and it got you pinned to the wall, what the heck you think about up at uh, 1,500 miles per hour, man? And then 66,000 miles in an even bigger circle. Man, check this out. If that was the knowledge that they wanted to give you, you would be able to look up in the, in the sky. The stars would look like comets and they'd be going at 360 degrees every which way, crossing each other. You wouldn't be able to see them, man. It would be, that's ludicrous, man. We got to really start thinking about what's going on, brothers and sisters, man. That's garbage, man. That is baloney what them folks been feeding us for eons. And it's time, like I told you, man, I'm finna break down everything that Christianity set up. And Christianity is one of the ones that set this global uh, uh, up for. If you ask him what, what his religion was, he gonna say, Oh, I'm a Christian. The police pull us over and blow, blow our brains out. He be in court. They ask him what his religion is. I'm a Christian. These folks is killers. When they brought their tail over here and killed our forefathers, they still kill us now, man. Christianity is garbage, man. Um, First Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 30 now. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 16, and verse 30. Uh-huh. Fear before him. Do what? Fear before him. That's the way that you first uh get discernment and know about uh uh, uh what keeping the law, statutes, and commandments will do for you. Come on. All the earth. All who? All the earth. Come on. The world also shall be stable. What it shall be? The world also shall be stable. The world has always been stable, man. It's not moving. That's this new junk in the earth. Come on. That it be not moving. I thought it was moving. That it be not moving. It goes uh, 1,500 miles per hour. That it be not moving. Well, don't forget about the 66,000 miles. That it be not moving. And then it rotated around the sun. That it be not moving. Man, get the fog out your noggin today. Man, because I'm here to wipe the server clean. I got some uh, Windex with ammonia in that thing, man. Straight free. Psalms chapter 33, verse 9 and uh, 8 and 9 now. The book of Psalms chapter 33. Uh huh. Verses 8 and 9. Come on. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let them do what? Let all the earth fear the Lord. Come on. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Uh huh. For he spake. And it was done. And when he did what? What happened? For he spake, and it was done. When he spake, things popped into existence, brothers and sisters. Come on. He commanded, and it stood fast. What happened when he told the earth to do what? He commanded, and it stood fast. The earth is not moving, man. Y'all need to get that out of what your nog is, man. It is not moving into well. It stands fast. It ain't moving. It's waiting on the next order from the Most High. Y'all ain't running. Nothing is what the Bible is telling you, man. Psalms chapter 104, verse 5 now. The book of Psalms chapter 104 uh -huh. and verse 5. Come on. Who laid the foundations of the earth? He did what? Who laid the foundations of the earth? That's the question that a bunch of people who don't have real understanding of this Bible ask, come on. That it should not be removed forever. That it should be what? That it should not be removed forever. Right, it's going to be still in the same way he put it up, man. So it ain't done been towed down and came back and now we got this rotating earth, man. That's garbage, man. It's still the same way that he set it up in the creation story. And we're going to touch on a little bit of that today, man. The brothers and sisters, you understand? We're going to touch that thing, man. Now, now with the, 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 uh, the, the earth, um, uh, that was going through the part about the earth does not move part. Let's look at the first being a foot.
footstool. Now, what the scripture said about the earth being a footstool? Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1 now. The book of Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1. Come on. Thus says the Lord. Thus says who? Thus says the Lord. Thus says Yahweh. The heaven is my throne. What he said? The heaven is my throne. The third heaven is his throne. Come on. And the earth is my footstool. What did he call the earth? And the earth is my footstool. That's right, because he resides in the third heaven. What we at down here is the first heaven, people. Get that, uh, understand that thing is what we need to do. Come on. Where is the house that ye build unto me? Where the house that you built unto him? Where is that? Come on. And where is the place of my rest? Because he said, how be it the most high dwell of not a temple made by hand. So the most high just asked you, so where the temple you built me? Y'all ain't built me nothing and I'm going to reside in because he built us. That's where he at. We ain't built ourselves. That's what you need to know. Understand that thing, man. Matthew chapter 5 verse 35. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 35. Read. Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. Come on. Neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Read it one more time for our people out there. Uh, Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. The earth of the most high is what? Footstool. Come on. Neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. It's the city of the great king. The great king, it started out with the kingship there. It started out with Adam. That's where he was made and then moved eastward into the Garden of Eden. That's where it's going to end it for all of us people. We're going to be gathered back where it all began for us. Uh, Jerusalem is the mother is the mother of us all, not Africa. Don't get that in I, I, your knowledge, man. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. That's what the scripture said. You know, we know um, Middle East is what Jerusalem is. It makes no sense. Middle East, Middle East. But then they describe it to be Asia. That's a Western of Asia. What it means by being in the middle of all those continents that is around east of what? Africa. The Bible is telling you, even the white man is telling you secretly that, well, we call Jerusalem, Israel, is actually northeastern Africa. But the, even the Africans there do not subscribe to. They go by nationality. They say, I'm from Uganda. I'm from Nicaragua. I'm from this and that. They call it. They don't tell you I'm an African. They don't say that thing, man. Uh, the, 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 the Asian people, even though we from the Asian continent, they don't. They walk around saying Chinese, Japanese, uh, and, and, and whatnot, man. They don't subscribe to the continent. We the only people. And then we could name that the two continents over here in America, African America. Man, get y'all garbage at me. Man, if, uh, we need to wake up out that dream, man. Man, our people are going down the drain, man, at that same pace, man. But the thing is, we are presently waking our people up and, 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 and returning to the foes again. Uh, all praise to the Most High for that thing. Uh, Acts chapter 7, verse 49 now. 